Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. Silskin, let us begin. Uh, there's a miller, and uh, he brags about his daughter, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like him and his friend are talking, and his friend's like saying all this cool shit, so then he has to say something even cooler. Yeah, he's got to one up him. And he's like, you know, my daughter, she's freaking awesome because he's really proud. I mean, he he, he kind of says, you know, my daughter, she can actually turn, turn some. Uh, into silk, gold, some straw into gold, straw into gold. The the king hears about her being able to spin that uh, that straw into gold, and and he says, "Prove it." But basically, if she can prove it, then you're this old beggar, and his daughter will become royalty. So, uh, daughter's like, dude, I can't turn straw into gold. I'm, I'm just, I'm just a girl. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but she's committed to it now. So she, they lock her into a room and they're like, you can do this cool thing and we're going to treat you like shit until you give us what, what we want. They put her, locked her away with this room, mm-hmm. had a stack of hay and, and she tried to, she tried to spin it into gold. Oh, maybe I'll get lucky. I mean, it's like, well, that's nah, not working. Maybe if I believe. <laughs> Where's Jiminy Cricket? Well, <laughs> this is what I'm going to do until I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. But then she doesn't turn it into gold. Well, obviously. She starts crying. A midget. You heard this girl cry. And, you know, so he's like, why are you crying? Stop it. And she's like. I promise I can spin straw to gold, and I can't, so I'm going to die, and he's going to die. He was like, he's like, what, you can't do it? I can do it. And she's like, you can't, you should do it for me. And he was just like, why? What, what, what are you going to do for me? And she had like a gold necklace on or something, mm-hmm. and she's like, I'll give you this gold necklace. And then he was like... Okay. I guess that's like I can it. spin straw into gold and make all the gold I want, but yeah, I'll take that necklace. I'll take that. <laughs> so he does it. He spins the straw into gold, and, and and then the next morning, the king picks up her. It's like, show me what you did. And sees the the straw wagon filled with gold, mm-hmm. and. Uh, so that's it, right? Like, now she should be in royalty, because that's... I mean, she did it. No. Uh, king, some bitch. King's like, well, oh my god. Uh, how did you... That's amazing. Uh, now do more. <laughs> and, or, or you die, basically. You can do more for... I mean, you proved to me that you could spin straw into gold. And I will give you what you want. Um, but I also need you to spend more gold or die. So locks her in the dungeon again with like twice as much straw, like, like uh, the room's getting filled up and, um, and she's now she's just kind of like, uh, crying, trying again. It's like, I wish I knew that guy's number. She started crying again, and he heard her again, and he's like, why are you crying now? And then she tells him, well, he got all this gold, and now he needs more. And can you do it for me? And he was like, well, what are you going to give me? And then she's like, well, even though you can spend straw and gold and have all the gold you want, I'll give you my gold ring. It's a little tiny piece of gold. And he said, okay. So we got to work. I made an entire room filled with straw. Uh, filled with gold. Oh, yeah, um, filled with gold. And then he walks away <laughs> with the ring. 
The king finds the room filled with gold and is like, oh my god, this is amazing. Do more. <laughs> or die. And if you do this, then you will marry my son or marry me. So she doesn't want to die. Um, and pretty much at this point, she's like, all right, little man, I know you're out there. You got, I got, I need one more thing. One more, one more little favor, dude. So he shows up. Here's our plea. And he was like, what do you need now? Obviously, you know what I need. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what she needs, like, he filled his room up with gold, and she's got to spin it all on, or with straw, and she's got to spin it all into gold. And then this time, he's like, well, what will you give me? And she's like, even though you did it all the straw and the gold I'd never snuck anything for myself so I don't have anything left to give you Ooh, that was kind of sassy <laughs> so, so then he was like well alright how about you give me your first child mm. and then she was just like okay that's all you want you don't want any more gold you just <sighs> alright and so he was like okay so anyway she gets the Straws, gold, king comes in and says, oh my god, you're awesome, now marry me. Um, you're going to be royalty. Um, and then, then, like, fast forward. Maybe about Maybe. a year later. A year later. Uh, she has a baby. Yeah. And she forgets about this deal that she made with a midget. And, uh, and she had a baby, and then... Uh, Dude, dude came came back. Little little dude came back, and uh, it's like, all right, now that uh, that little one is gonna be uh, mine. Give me your baby. As per our uh, agreement uh, a year ago, and she's like, uh, no. And dude's like, well, I'll tell you what. For some reason, this is my my bargain with you. <laughs> if you can guess my name. Uh, then you can keep the baby. But, and and I'll give you three days. You get three days. If you can't do it in three days, then I get the baby, um, and you don't know my name. Well, people say there's cultures that believe that all the power you have relies on your name, and so if no one knows your name, then you have all the power. But as soon as they know the na- your name, they have all the power. If you tell me my name, I'm powerless. Yeah. So... As long as you don't know my name, I can take your baby from you. Uh, you can't do anything. Yeah. Um, so, three days. Three days to figure out the name. She's got three days. So, she spent the first day listing every single normal name. And then, nope, that's not it. You got two more nights. And then the second night. Second night. Second night. She was like, I'm going to send, now that I'm queen... I'm sending all my knights and all the men to go out and huntsmen. tell me every every name that they know, like every oddball weird name that they know. And go and somebody go figure out where the who the hell this little dude is, so I don't have to guess all these names. And uh, so all the all everybody goes out. And she's still looking and sweating it and stuff, and and it's not, it's not working out. Uh, she she's not coming up with anything original, especially not Rumpelstiltskin. And uh, Rumpel, Rumpel mints, <laughs> Rumpel Rumpelstiltskin comes back, and and she guesses more names, and and it's not any of those names. So it's on her last night. And, so after uh, he leaves, like, you have one more night. And he leaves, and she's like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? I only have one more night. I don't know his name. I've tried all the normal names. I've tried all the weird names. I just don't know anything. I don't know what to do. And then one of the nights, one of the nights that she sent out, like, comes across this, this camp. Sight, and there's this little man dancing around the fire. What did he say? He and said he's like things. singing, Today I bake tomorrow. <laughs> Today I bake. Tomorrow I brew my beer. The next day I will bring the queen's child here. Ah! 
lucky tis that not a soul that <laughs> that rumple still skin is my name <laughs> ho ho well so then the queen's man comes riding on his horse and he comes back to her and he was like hey that's in the woods I know his name <laughs> It's Rumple, Rumple Stiltskin. And then she's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And she's so excited. And yeah. she knows his name now. And he comes and he's like, all right, today's your last chance. What's my name? Say my name. And then she's like, instead of just getting it over with, she's like, oh, it's been a hmm. long journey. She's like, hmm, well. She's like, well. Is your name, like, Tom? You know, because she didn't say that in the re- regular names. Because back then, that wasn't a regular name. So she's like, is your name Tom? And he's like, ha, 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 no. And he's dancing around. He's so excited. And then she's like, is your name Spindleshanks? And <laughs> nope. That's not it either. Ha ha ha. You don't know my name. He's dancing around. And then she's like, Could it be Rumple Stillskin? And then he. He's like, The what? devil told you that. The yeah. devil told you. And. Because he's just so shocked that she knows. And he's like so upset. And he's, the only logical explanation is the devil told her. So then he goes to hell. Yeah, the earth opens up and swallows him. It's fucking weird. So he's like, really weird so got to keep the baby. Uh, got to marry into royalty. So yeah, uh, you know, she's happily ever after, I guess. Close the chapter on this episode until we meet again. And so the story goes, we turn the page to find the end.